be done with the troubles of the world the troubles of the world the troubles of the world soon i will be done with the troubles of the world going home Reverend George Lee died May 7th in 1955 in Belzoni, Mississippi. Reverend George Lee, one of the first black people registered to vote in the Humphreys County, he used his pulpit and his printing press to urge others to vote. White officials offered Lee protection on the condition he end his voters registration efforts, but Lee refused and was murdered. died September 25th in 1961 in Liberty, Mississippi. Sometimes. Herbert Lee, who worked with the civil rights leader Bob Moses to help register black votes, was killed by a state legislator who claimed self-defense and was never arrested. Lewis Allen, a black man who witnessed the murder, was also later killed. Jackson died February 27th in 1967 in Natchez, Mississippi. Warless Jackson, the treasurer of his local NAACP chapter, was one of the many blacks who received threatening Klan notices at his job. After Jackson was promoted to a position previously reserved for whites, a bomb was planted in his car. It exploded minutes after he left for work one day, killing him instantly. Sometimes I feel like I'm almost done. Harriet Moore died January 3rd, 1952 in Brevard County, Florida. Harriet Vita Sims Moore was an American educator and civil rights worker. She and her husband, Harry T. Moore, founded the first branch of the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, also known as the NAACP, in Brevard County, Florida. On Christmas night, 1951, the Moors were fatally injured at their home by a bomb that went off beneath their house. It was their 25th wedding anniversary. Harry died on the way to the hospital in Stanford, Florida, and Harriet died from her injuries nine days later at the hospital in Stanford. Ain't gonna let nobody turn me around, turn me around, turn me around. Ain't gonna let nobody turn me around. I'm gonna keep on walking, keep on talking, marching up to freedom land. Medgar Evers died June 12, 1963 in Jackson, Mississippi. Civil rights activist Medgar Evers was assassinated by Baron de la Blackwood, a member of the White Citizens Council. Evers was a World War II veteran who had become the secretary of the NAACP in Mississippi, helping to integrate the University of Mississippi. Beck would shoot Evers at his home in Jackson, Mississippi. It would take over 30 years after Evers' murder with Blackwood to be convicted in 1994. I'm gonna keep on a walking, keep on a talking, marching up to freedom land. I'm gonna keep on a walking, keep on a talking, marching up to freedom land. I'm gonna keep on a walking, keep on a talking, marching up to freedom land. I'm gonna keep on a walking, keep on a talking, marching up to freedom.